Hello, Maya. Hello, Tuya. I'm happy to see you again. I am glad as well. I have found a remedy for Pazair. Ptah granted my request. The obelisk has been quarried. I am delighted. But without Pazair, the obelisk won't be able to be erected in the temple of Pyramsis. Are you sure the remedy will be potent enough to cure Pazair? It is a very ancient and infallible remedy, meant to charm spirits that possess men. It will work perfectly for Pazair. What part must I play? You must concoct the remedy, for it will be you who will administer it. How do I go about it? Above all, you must be pure. And I sense an unclean animal on your person. Show it to me. Thank you, Tuya. Uh, here's the guilty party. Now you'll be able to prepare the remedy. What must I do now? You will have to copy the healing formula in red ink on a blank papyrus. The formula is on the mastaba over there. I ought to ask Tuya's permission. I have some blank sheets of papyrus left. They are of no use to me for the time being. I've dipped my calamus into some red ink. Now I can use it to write. That's perfect. I'll just slip the formula into a figurine resembling Pazair that I've created. Now you must fire it. How should I carry out the rite for Pazair? Place the figurine on his chest and proclaim the word Heka. Your help has been priceless. How can I thank you? I have faith. Pharaoh will know how to thank me when the time comes. What's this? Your help has been priceless. How can I thank you? I have faith. Pharaoh will know how to thank me when the time comes. Thank you, Tuya. Ah, uh, here you are. All is lost. What's happening? We are cursed. The floods of the Nile have still not come, and an evil fire is burning in the quarry. What's this about a fire? All the workers have fled. A fire burning without fuel has erupted next to the obelisk. Tuya will know what to do. No. She can only tend to men, not obelisks. Where is the obelisk? Outside the village, in the quarry. I shall go see. Go, go. I shall meet you there.
water doesn't put this fire out. Maybe I could smother it with a rug or a mat. There's some strange object buried in the hot ground. This knife emits immense power. It has to belong to a god. I have removed a knife from the site of the fire. It seems to be the property of a god. The displacement of the obelisk towards the Nile can resume. Yes, but there's not enough water to transport it any further. It's so heavy. The barge would touch bottom. What can we do? Hamwaset would perhaps have some good advice, but I have to go urgently to Pai Ramses to treat Pazer. To go to Pai Ramses, you have to pass through Memphis. What would it cost you to stop to speak with Hamwaset? But our conversation would delay me. And Pazer has been awaiting his remedy so long. If he were to die before I arrive, I could never forgive myself. I don't know what to do. Anyway, it's not even sure that Hamwaset can cause the flooding to begin. Isn't that beyond his powers? Do as you think best. But the high waters of the Nile must come. That is the only way that the obelisk will reach Pyramses. Goodbye. Maya, go up the Nile to Memphis. You are expected there. The gods have spoken. I now know what I must do. I will stop in Memphis to consult with Hamwaset. I must return to Memphis as quickly as possible. I shall carry you there. I would like to meet Hamwaset, High Priest of Ptah. I cannot let you pass. Hamwaset is not here. Where is Hamwaset? I don't know. It's a Nilometer, a pit that's used to measure the level of the Nile. The water must be very low right now. Hello, my name is Maya, daughter of Harriman, envoy of Pharaoh and of Pazer. Hello, you who are seeking to restore the river's flooding. Oh, how do you know what I'm seeking? I know. You won't find Hamwaset in time to help you. You seem well informed. Perhaps you know what I should do. Bring me back the recipient of Isis, and you will know. Where is the recipient of Isis? When you have restored the coping of the Nilometer, the offering will lead you to the recipient. Who are you? I am the one who will lead you to the gods. Thank you, little girl. Where might I find Hamwaset, the High Priest of Ptah? No idea. Who is that child in front of the Nilometer? The heat's getting to you. There's no child in the temple. Thank you. A stick. Pick it up. It might prove useful.
It's this drawing on the coping that I must restore. Maybe I can copy this drawing. I reproduced the drawing on a papyrus. Now I should have it completed. You draw well, I believe. Yes, I used to sculpt bas-reliefs before I started weaving these bloody baskets. Can you complete the drawing I entrusted you with? Of course I can. That's easy. It's an offering scene. But I don't have any binder for my ink. What do you need? An egg would do the trick. Can you complete the drawing I entrusted you with? An egg. That's perfect. But I need a calamus as well. I acknowledge thee, Queen Isis, mother of all nature. You are welcome to the very bosom of the original nun, Maya. Through you, I have heard the distress of all Egypt. The honor bestowed upon me is immense. Have I departed from life? No, you have journeyed to the enchanted isles of Isis. You have uncovered a god-sent evil that is compromising the destiny of Egypt. You are humble and discreet, and you will be able to act there where the gods would be unmasked. What must I do? You must work your way up to the source of the evil. For that, you must pass through the gates of death. Can a god threaten the destiny of Pharaoh? Osiris himself, my husband, the first Pharaoh, was betrayed by a god. How can I restore the floods? You will have to traverse the Book of the Dead to join Osiris in the Great Beyond. He alone can help you. Evil events are plaguing the land of Egypt. That is why I have led you here. The Lord of the Dead knows the source and the principle of all things. 
What will happen if Pharaoh dies? The Universal Order will be upset. The gods themselves will be swept away by the typhoon that will lay waste to Egypt. I thank thee, Isis. Goddess Isis, thou who knowest all, canst thou enlighten me? Fantastic forces are at work, but they are hidden, as if concealed by a sand cloud. Osiris will help you. My role is to guide you to him. Dost thou know the source of this curse? I am the greatest of magicians, and the only one to know the sacred name of Ray. Yet even I cannot discover the guilty party. How can I reach the great beyond? You must cross through the aisles of this world to reach the gateway to the Book of the Dead. Are those islands enchanted? Only a spirit able to master divine forces can cross them. I thank thee, Isis. Take this magic net. It will enable you to capture your enemies. How does one use this magic net? Call forth the attendants in charge of orders and cords, so they may tie up your vile enemy. Now I can reach the other bank. To open the passageway to the world of the dead, you must move the elements from one altar to the other without upsetting the universal order. You can only carry one god at a time. To control chaos, you must never leave Newt, the firmament, alone with her brother Geb, the earth, for their mutual attraction is too intense. Above all, don't leave Shu, the wind, who separates heaven from earth, alone with Newt. Geb's jealousy is fierce. You have been able to maintain the cosmic order. Now nothing more can keep you from pursuing your voyage.
How can I reach the other bank? In the channel separating you from it, you will find five islets. If you successfully reconcile Horus and Set in front of the middle isle, they will come to a standstill, and the tortoise will allow you to pass over on its back. When Horus and Set meet anywhere but in the center, their movement is perturbed. I thank thee, Isis. The tortoise flees at my approach. This is where I must bring Horus and Set together. You have reconciled Set and Horus. Now you can pass over on the back of the tortoise.